Del Inspiron <coughs> N5110. Where we're going to replace the uh, b -b 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 power jack. Power jack is broken. Let me show you how this one is broken. As you'll see, the uh, plastic kind of guts of it are just just got sheared off, and now we've got all the bare uh, contacts just kind of floating around in there. So that's not going to work. And you've got a couple options when uh, it comes to replacing this. Well, in fact, you have two options. One is to purchase the actual um, jack part, unsolder the broken one and solder this one on, uh, or you can, for considerably more money, this is only a couple dollars, for about 15, I think, uh, you can take it all apart and just replace that board because it's a little daughter board. Uh, that also contains the VGA out, and you can just replace that whole little board that's right about here. And that will do the same thing. Um, so you're not obligated to do any soldering if you're not comfortable doing it. In fact, even if you're only mildly comfortable doing it, it's uh, not the easiest thing to unsolder looking at the pins on it. Uh, so I would recommend most people to just replace the board. It's going to be ten times easier. I guess if you screw up on your current board, you can always order another one, but it'll save you a lot of time to just buy the board and replace the board. Okay, and then to start, we are going to first take off this memory cover, which is pretty easy. Just a annoying screw. Nope. Trusty butter knife. Kind of carefully, very carefully, pop it up, and it kind of pulls out this way. <laughs> if that makes sense, it's got tabs here, 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 here. Um, yeah, um, and then we need to remove the optical drive, which is pretty easy. If you look on the bottom of your memory cover, there's a little post sticking out of it, and you don't want to break that because that's kind of what holds the optical drive in. There's a little metal thing down here, you can just kind of pull it out. That's all that's holding it in is that post. And put that somewhere also safe. And then after that, it's just the removal of a lot of screws. <laughs> and it would really help to have a slightly magnetic screwdriver for this. Otherwise, you're going to have to f take a screw out and flip it over and catch the screw and then flip it back over. Or I guess you could take out all the screws, untighten all of them, and then flip it over and dump them all over the table. Or you could just have a magnetic screwdriver. And it'll pull them out for you. So, And of course, be careful not to drop screws <laughs> into your memory slots into the guts of your computer because that would be a little difficult probably to fish them out and you don't want them floating around in there for sure three 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 twelve screws and they're all the same size so just keep them safe and now we're going to flip it over uh, but before you do that check all of your holes and make sure you didn't forget a screw in there because if you flip it over and a screw falls out on your desk and then falls out on the floor where did it go? I don't know. You probably don't know either. It's probably lost forever. All right, now you're gonna take the keyboard out. Um, there's these little spring-loaded clips. Push them all down. Uh, you need something sharp. I'm gonna use this tiny flathead screwdriver to push the clip all the way in. There's, again, they're spring-loaded, so you can, they push in this way, and then you need to let the keyboard come out of that clip area carefully without damaging everything because that clip needs to get all the way under the bottom side of the keyboard before the keyboard little assembly is going to come out. And it might help to have a couple tools, one to hold it <laughs> while you're messing with it. And then, so now just going to hold this side with our finger. Uh, that one already popped out, or I already popped that one out. Pop 
each one of these up. Just work your way down it, pop it up, and your keyboard will come free. There's some little kind of side clips on the side that they'll come out uh, on their own, I guess, if you will. Um, so you need to kind of rotate it up, pull it out. Um, don't rip it out, of course. You need to undo this ribbon cable. It's really easy. Just open the flap, boom, pull it out. Set that aside, somewhere safe. Don't want to damage that ribbon cable. And then from here, we've got some more little ribbon cables. One, two, three. Uh, this is the touchpad. This is the power button. And I don't know what this one is, probably those buttons up there. Just pull the little levers up carefully and then pull the cable out of there. Those are just cables that go to this palm rest or top kind of piece, which is all one piece, by the way. And then there's four screws holding this down, I believe. One, two, three, four. Take them out. I think they're the same size, actually, as the other ones, so keep them safe. And then you're going to pull this entire front uh, palm rest off. Uh, which is a little tricky. It does have clips that go all the way around. I guess the best way that I've found is to start here in the corner, very carefully get it started with a screwdriver, and then get some sort of smooth wedge tool, and just kind of work your way down it once you get it in there, and pop all those clips one by one. By the time you get to the end, it'll be super easy. Pops right out. All right, and the board that we're trying to get at is kind of unfortunately placed under the motherboard. It's over here in this corner. <laughs> so we, we have to pull the motherboard up at least enough to get that out. Um, and along the way, we're gonna have to unplug some stuff and remove some other stuff. So, and the first and largest thing that we have to remove is the actual LCD, which is a bummer, but it's not too bad. Um, first, you need to unplug the ribbon cable over here, and then also the this is the wireless card, and then the antenna leads go up through the monitor. So. We're gonna have to unplug those those two things and then take out one, two, three, four screws that actually hold the hinges mounted to the chassis. Um, and then it'll just kind of lift out, so. Now to remove the LCD ribbon cable thing. One, oops, sorry. Be very gentle. <laughs> this is kind of a fragile little thing. Um, you'll see that there's kind of the big chunky section of it and then this other line and you actually need to split this half or a third of it that way so I am going to take a flathead screwdriver and just kind of wedge it in there on that side and on this side and just carefully pull it out make sure you don't rip anything off the board surrounding it all And there you go. Um, and then over here, take these cables off. And then we're gonna take out two screws over here and two screws on the other side. And as you take these screws out, if you've got your display tilted back a lot, it's gonna try and peel itself out. So I would kind of make it vertical so that the, the weight isn't trying to pull on the hinges, you know? And then take the screws out the best you can. Um, or another option is to set something behind the monitor so that it's not pulling due to gravity. It's actually resting on something backwards, but I'm just gonna do it vertically like this. And of course, also still kind of holding on to it as I take out the last screw. Sorry, my arm's in the way. Should have went over to the other side. And then we're just gonna lift it straight 
out. Just like that. And put this in a very, very secure and special place. And now the fun part. Okay, and of course the part that we want to remove is this board right here. It has the VGA out and uh, one of the USB ports, and then that's our culprit. Um, and it is connected by, <clears throat> it's like a hard connection under there into the motherboard. So this board is under that one, and there's like a brick connection, I don't know what to call it. It's under there. And so there's two screws right here, and you would think maybe I can just take those out, peel this up and get that out of there. Ooh, that sounds a little scary. So what we're going to do instead is completely not remove the motherboard, but take out all the screws on it. And there's only five total, I believe. One, two, three, and then four, five. So we're gonna take out all those five screws um, pull this connection and then kind of lift the board out just enough to pull this daughter board out. And you will find that these screws are actually shorter than all of the rest of them. So far, pretty much, yeah, every single screw has been the same size. These are slightly smaller in diameter and about half as long. So you'll just have to remember to keep them separate. It's just not a big deal. Ah, and don't throw them across the room. <laughs> and once you get them out, like I said, we're gonna kind of break this connection over here. The way that I've chosen to do it um, is to kind of pry right about here. It's a relatively safe spot to pry because it's just the screw hole. You don't want to pry where there's actual electronics um, and you're gonna have to hold this board down because like I said it's it's connected to this but it's not connected to anything else right now so I'm gonna hold it down and gently so I'll hold it down right about here on this chip try this enough there we go that it breaks free and then I'll do the same thing over here okay and now that's moving and the rest isn't. And then over here on this side, we have a very similar connection. It's actually under here to connect this main board to this daughter board. So we're just gonna split those as well because this main board is held into the chassis. These ports actually go into the plastic so we can't just lift the board up. So we're, we'll go over here and split these carefully. See? Okay, so now my main board is free. Lifting up on this, kind of holding that down, it'll give us just enough room to pull this out. Carefully, carefully. Very gently. So yes, that is the part that you can replace the whole thing, or you can just replace the uh, jack on it, which is what I am going to do. And it's a simple job of desoldering it carefully and then soldering the new one on. Uh, but if that's not something you're normally comfortable doing, uh, again, I would just recommend getting one of these because it's a lot less headache unless you're very confident doing it. So I'm not going to give instructions on how to desolder because there's a million times better tutorials on the internet. All right, so I got the new plug soldered on. And I guess I could tell you how to do it in reverse, but I think if you've gotten this far, you're probably capable of reversing all of those steps. Uh, mostly just lifting that in there, letting it seat down into its natural little position. Pop this connector back together. Make sure it's nice and secure and solid. You're 
jack is looking good. Reseat this connection carefully. And then you'll remember we have five screws, one, two, three, four, five. Um, put this display back in, reconnect. Don't forget to reconnect your wireless. Plug the ribbon cable back in. Of course, you got the four screws that hold the display hinges to the chassis. Um, put your this back on. Put this back on and reconnect all of these ribbon cables. Don't forget that because otherwise these buttons won't work or this won't work or your power button won't work and you'll wonder what the hell's going on. Put your keyboard back in. Remember it goes in uh, kind of like that and then just set it down. But don't forget to plug it in before you set it down. Otherwise you're going to have to take it out again. And then, you know, flip it over and put all the screws back in. Should be good to go. So... I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of tutorials for this exact model and stuff to do this exact procedure, but maybe I had something different in it. Who knows? Uh, pretty easy, especially if you just buy the board and replace the whole board instead of doing what I did and replace the plug. In fact, here's the old one. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.